hey guys jumping right into today's v day glam look i've already done my uh, skincare now i'm gonna start with my eyebrows i'm using a pyt beauty's eyebrow pencil here first i'm going to shape out the brows on the top and at the bottom and slowly filling in between these two lines i'll also use the spoolie that comes on the other end to blend everything um, in the beginning of the eyebrow i just uh, do hair like strokes on the upward uh, direction so that it looks more natural and to make it look more fluffier i'm using essence beauties or essence cosmetics brow gel i believe the shade is brownie brows and now eyeshadow look time so i'm just using this dark deep brown shade you can use any of them this is one of my old eyeshadows i'm going to take it into a big fluffy brush and kind of tap it all over the crease right here if you see it's like a brownie um, warm brown tone and i'm also doing the same thing on the other eye even though this is a glam look i don't want it to take a lot of time and i'm going to take a smaller blending brush to be more precise and just apply the same brown eyeshadow in the crease and packing it in onto the outer lash line as well and i will be taking a very nice um lilac or lavender color that is shown here by prisma palette this is a gorgeous color i love this i believe the name is called delaphine i'll leave everything in the link below first i had used this brush to pick it up and i felt like it was not depositing the amount or the intensity i wanted with this color uh, but anyway i went ahead and then i'm applying it all over the lid and then here as you see i'm using my fingers to apply it because it kind of gives more pigmentation when you use the fingers and blending the edges between the shimmer shade as well as the matte brown shade i used so that there is no harsh lines and it looks well blended so taking this elf eyeliner or liquid liner pen and this was not that pigmented this is my first time using or like second or third time using this pencil or eyeliner but it did the job for that day i wasn't looking for a great wing or anything just a tiny um, wing onto the outer edge of my eye um, as you see here quickly curling my lashes and going in with the elf mascara this is the big mood mascara i really really like this one just the the wand is too big um sometimes it can get into the inner corner of the eye but um you can make it work and it gives very really fluffy lashes at least for me i have very tiny lashes going in with this range beauty's bronzing primer to start my face makeup this is a really um good primer i should say and feels very really nice on the skin and i'm going in with the fenty beauties blurring tint ease drop blurring <laughs> tint in the shade 11 as you can see it's a teeny bit or one shade darker i should have gone for the number 10 but i can make this work uh, as you'll see in the video i'm blending it with the real technique expert face brush i am this is this brush is new to me as well um i really really like this it's fluffy blends it super easily and the handle is uh, just right and i'm taking the small brush to go just right about the eyebrows because it's the tiny area right and taking the shade below the neck as well because it is a little darker shade for me as i mentioned i'm just going in with a second layer just on the cheeks to cover up a little bit more um the scarring and whatnot on my face uh, but still keeping it more natural and i'm also going to go with the foundation on the ears uh, to make everything one color my favorite concealer here it is elf camo concealer the hydrating version i'm taking it under the eyes a little bit under the cheekbone for a contouring effect center of my face and i'm just using the same foundation brush for blending this all in 
can you see how quickly that kind of blends it and i decided i wanted to kind of spread the product a bit more using the smaller brush this is also real techniques i believe it's an eyeshadow brush but this works well with whatever you want to do i'm spreading it and i'm going to go again with the bigger fluffy brush to blend it all together more blending guys blending is the key and going in with the part where i kind of put the concealer under the cheekbone and if you see my face is kind of bringing uh, back up to a shade uh, because that concealer shade was a bit more lighter than the shade number 11 of the Fenty Beauty now i'm going to set everything with this Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm not going in very heavy it's a very light layer application here because I don't want to look too cakey or whatever um, but yeah just lightly setting everything I'm not going heavy with on the cheeks as well so I'm gonna take this Smashbox contour palette I'm taking the contour shade and the bronzer shade I'm mixing these two together to get um, an in-between color and going in on the cheeks i did change up the brush because the smashbox brush was shedding like anything and the next blush time i'm using the sees blush in the shade rosy it's a liquid blush one of my favorites and i'm going to blend this with a real technique stipple brush it's a small stipple brush beautifully blends all the liquid uh, products or cream products look how beautiful that color looks and this blush does give like a glowy finish to the skin i'm using the expert face brush again to kind of blend around the edges on the cheek and yeah i'm just going back into the eyes to finish the lower lash line using this small pencil brush to apply that brown shade and finishing off with a shimmer shade this is by Haribi Gardens on the inner corner of my eye and now lippy time I used Gabriel Cosmetics Nutmeg Lip Liner and this is Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro lipstick in the shade carnation and on top i just used buxom cosmetics lip gloss in the shade russian something something <laughs> i'll leave it in the description box below just finishing up the entire face with a mist of urban decay and this is a completed look all right and i hope you guys love this look and try to recreate this during the valentine's day or any other occasion and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye and namaste.